analysis of the inverter. So given here in this problem, we have a we have a an inverter where the input is arriving to the uh, PMOS device, and we have connected between the output and the ground a resistor R. And had a resistor-based inverter, but the input is arriving to the PMOS device. And so the circuit of figure two features a PMOS transistor that is coupled with a load resistor. Write the equations to solve for VOH, VOL, and VM using long channel equation. Assuming the graphical characteristics of the PMOS interval, would VM equal to require a larger or a smaller load resistor compared to VM equal to 2? So let us start by addressing uh, this problem here first. So the easiest step, the first step that I start with is this is transistor Q1 is when Q1 is off. And when Q1 is off, this will happen when the input is equal to VDD and VSG will be zero. Yani lama VSG equals to zero, which is less than the magnitude of VTP, if and only if VN is equal to VDD. Lish lana VSG here VDD minus VN equal to zero, if and only if VN is equal to VDD. Okay. So uh, we start with this criterion and we say, well, this means that by KCL I have IP equals to IR. Okay, if the input is high, the output has to be low. So the case when Q1 is off, the transistor will be turned off. There will be no pass to VDD and the resistor will be responsible to connect my output to ground, so this will represent my VOL. So because this is a PMOS, when Q1 is off, the pull-up device will not be functioning and I will have a low output because the load is connecting the output to ground. So when Q1 is off, meaning for example, when VSG equals to zero, I will have VN equal to VDD, and IP equals to IR, IP is equal to zero because this is cut off, and IR is nothing but V out over R, so this means that V out equals to VOL equals to zero. Okay, so when I have a PMOS load, I start by solving for the PMOS of one transistor responsible for the inversion. I start by setting this device to be off, I find VOL and the load connects me to ground. Then in the second step, I set VN equal to VOL equal to zero. Okay, so I set VN equal to VOL equal to zero. And I uh, try to solve now for what is V out, which is VOH. VN is VOL, what is VOH. So if I put the input to be equal to zero, let us uh, set the input to be equal to zero now, uh, then I will have my, I want to solve for what my output is. So when Vn equal to VOL equal to zero, okay, I want to solve what is VOH equal to. So this would be in the second case. And now <clears throat> what I will end up having is for the PMOS device using the longer channel model, I'm going to find VSG minus 90 of VT and I'm going to look for VST. For VSG minus magnitude of VT, I will have VDD minus VN, Kg is VN. So this is zero minus magnitude of VTP. And VSD is VDD minus V out, which is VOH. So this quantity is small and this quantity is bigger. 
and accordingly the device is going to be in the linear region. So since I am in the linear region, I can solve for IP and IP will be K prime W by L times VDD minus VT times V DD minus VOH minus VDD minus VOH all squared over 2. Okay, hi deal IP and linear. This will be equal to VOH over R. And I will solve for VOH value what it is equal to. So I set like an IP equal to IR. I know what VSG minus VT is equal. I know what VSD is equal to. And uh, I will plug in the linear mode equation and I will set IP equal to IR and solve for the output. Okay. Now for the third quantity, for the third quantity, which is VM, and if now I am being asked to solve for VM, okay, so now I'm being asked to solve for VM. I will have the transistor again. Here I have Vm. Here the output will be equal to Vm. Yeah, I'm trying to solve for the out equal Vn equal Vm. And here I have a resistor. Again for the P mass, I am going to look for Vsg minus magnitude of Vt. And Vsd, this will be Vd minus Vm. Then this is S. And this is D, so it is VDD minus VM. And the VSG, this is the gain, is VDD minus VG, which is VM minus value of VT. Of course, this is a greater, and therefore the device will be in saturation. So I will set IP is equal to IR. IR is VM over R, I can currently out have a resistor, and IP will be equal to half K prime W by L. If we don't have channel length modulation, VDD minus VM minus magnitude of VT all squared and high DVGS minus VSG minus VT all squared, and I solve for VM. Okay, and I solve for VM. Okay, great. Done. Hello, we're going to move to the next problem. So in this uh, second part of the problem, I have the characteristics for the PMOS device provided for me. I know that for the PMOS device with the resistor R, this being V out, okay, and this being VN. I have two things. First, the PMOS device VSG minus VT is really equal to VDD minus VN minus magnitude of VT. Yeah, and when VN equal to zero, I have the maximum current and uh, VOV is max. And when VN equal to VDD, the device will be definitely off and VSG equal to zero. So for high VN, the device is going to turn off. Yani VN low means the device is strongly on. VN high means the device is turning off. Okay. And we know another fact about the resistor that IR is equal to V out over R. Yani Anna, if my axis here is V out, then the current for the resistor when V out equal to zero will be equal to zero. And the current for the resistor when V out is higher, مثلا VDD هيطلع ال I is equal to VDD over R. Okay. فإذا this current I which is equal to V out over R, has a slope which is equal to 1 over R and it passes through the point 0, 0. 
يعني اللود لاين بيقطع بالبوينت زيرو زيرو and it pass it has a slope one over r so this is the load line of the resistor okay for the for this type of the inverter هلا بالنسبة ل for the current and the PMOS we said that the current and the PMOS increases as Vn decreases يعني for small Vn also if we want to look at the PMOS don't worry about why the orientation is flipped I will give it to you if needed يعني I'm just give, getting you familiar to this problem really for this transistor I have VST okay so for the PMOS device VST is equal to VDD minus V out okay so when V out is equal to VDD, VSD is equal to zero. Here, this point, يعني independent of how large my uh, gate voltage is, my input voltage is, since I am stuck with very small VSD equal zero, the current will be zero. And as V out becomes smaller, then VST is going to increase and this is why we see the trend of the current increasing in this direction to the left hand side okay for example for this for this characteristic typically now we used to see as function of VDS equal to V out for the NMOS resistor based inverter the current increasing in this direction for the PMOS based inverter because v VSD is VDD minus V out and should we'll flip to the other side but this will be given to you so the question now given to me this PMOS characteristics as function of V out I know that I know that and let us uh, draw it on a scratch I know that given this uh, characteristic hey, if you out and the current is like this okay and this is Vn equal to zero and the resistor characteristics are like this with a slope equal to 1 over R really I solve for when I have my circuit I solve for VOL when Vn is let me sorry, I solve for my output. When Vn is zero, the device will be on and it will strongly pull up my output, pardon me, to VOH. Okay, when the device is on, it's going to help me pull the output to VOH as we showed a little bit ago. And really, this point VOH is the intersection of the resistor load line okay this is i r equal to v out over r and the characteristics for the pmos device when v n is equal to zero and who we hide that line so the characteristics for the pmos device when v n is equal to zero so you can see that v o h will be a point here okay now what we can learn about the trend is that if R increases, then the slope 1 over R is going to drop. Okay, I see the current value as the slope will drop. And what is going to happen is that I will have intersection at another point which is VOH2 which is around here so we can see that as R increases 1 over R decreases and therefore uh, I will have the intersection further closer to the point of VDG okay now in reality what happens if my PMOS device is represented by RP and my resistor is represented by R. 
RP طبعا لما ال VN equal to zero then the output VOH will be equal to R over R plus RP which is equal to times VDD which is equal to 1 over 1 plus RP over R times VDD okay so if my RP R increases to infinity for example then this will be closer and yani as R increases this ratio will be closer to VDD because RP over R becomes small like the slope change and I will get closer to VDD okay but as I'm just saying now if the resistor we are taking slope 1 over R and as the resistor increases this slope will drop down and the intersection between the line of V and equal 0 and the load line of the resistor will become closer to VDD okay okay so now uh, let us go back to the basic question and assuming that we have this graphical characteristics of the PMOS inverter would VM equal 2 volt require a larger or a smaller R compared to VM equal 1 to be achieved and I have two cases for VM equal 2 volts and if I want to achieve VM where V in equal V out equal to volts, then the uh, resistor line should intersect with the Heidel V out one or V M V in equal to one. Heidel one one point, okay, it should be one of the solutions, right? So this one one point, so I'm going to zero zero. And this Vn equal 1, V out equal 1. And Vn equal 1, V out will be equal to 1. Is what the Vm equal Vn equal V out equal 1 volt. This should be a solution uh, for the new resistor. So this would be the solution for some resistor R1, 1 over R1 the slope. Okay, and at the same time, another uh, load line, is the VM, where VN equal V out equal 2 volt, can as a solution, يعني أقدر أحصل على VN equal V out على ال, if I solve for it, 2 volt, لازم يكون الريزستر uh, in line intersect هيدا ال VN equal to وهيدا هو ال V out equal to يعني هيدا هي ال point two two okay so the my load line should really pass through it my load line should pass through it so this is one على R two okay so one على R two is much smaller than one على R one يعني so one على R two is much smaller than 1 على R1 okay then 1 على R1 so this means that I have R1 okay is smaller than R2 so this means that I have R1 is smaller than R2 so the question was would VM equal 2 volt require a larger or a smaller load resistor compared to VM equal 1 نحن نعرف أنه R2 بدا تكون أكبر من R1 so we know that R2 has to be larger than R1 okay so R2 has to be larger than R1 okay فإذا it is uh, what, we, what we said here we said and let me remove this هلا لهيدا for this circuit roughly for the one that is currently drawn for the circuit that is currently drawn, what we have here is, well, can I really identify where Vm would be? And I have to look when the output is equal to the input. So probably it is somewhere between 1 and 2, okay? But if I want Vm point to be V out equal to Vn equal to 1, so at the solution, the load line has to pass in this point 
ask هاي دي النقطة تضمن لي إنه the point at which v out is equal to v in equals to one is my v m and I will need this resistor. هاي دي اتفقنا هي one على r one واتفقنا إنه ل r two بدي v out equal v in equal v two. هاي دي line ل v in equal v two. So, but you want a solution intersecting this point and I will get it. So here we say the resistor load line should pass through two points. The first point is zero, zero. And the second point is V in equal V M and V out equal V M. Once I join those points, I know roughly what is the slope or what is the relation for two V M criteria. Okay, so here we show the two load lines and we explain it according. Okay. Now, in this problem, it's similar to problem one, the same circuit, but instead of flipping the characteristics of the PMOS, we drew the characteristics of the PMOS as function of VSD and ISD, and this is VSG, okay? which is basically VDD minus VN. Now, as VSG increases, the ISD will increase, and as VSD increases, the ISD will increase. Okay? So, we, we know the characteristics of the PMOS. We are going to define the characteristics of the resistor. We will label two points. The first point for the characteristic of the resistor is when uh, VSD is equal to VDD. So the first point is when VSD equals to VDD. So VSD is equal to VDD if and only if this is SD. VDD minus V out equals to VDD. So this is if and only if V out is equal to zero. And therefore the current in the resistor, which is equal to V out over R will be equal to zero. And so this is point A1. And then the second point A2 is when VSD is equal to zero, which is this point. And we know that VSD is VDD minus V out. So this is if and only if V out equals to VDD, okay? And therefore IR is equal to V out over R is equal to VDD over R. So we call the current who VDD over R la resistor. And now the load line is really the joining of those two points A1 and A2. Okay, so it is joining the two points A1 and A2. Okay, and so now uh, what we want to solve for, what we want to solve for is as follows. We have those two points and we want to solve for VOH. So now that we have the characteristics of uh, the resistor load line, we can really solve for when uh, Vn equal to zero, I will be solving for V out equal to VOH. And uh, Vn equal to zero, this implies that Vsg equal Vdd minus Vn, which is equal to Vdd. And so it will be this, load, this line here for the characteristics. And then also the intersection of this line with the load line of the resistor will give me the solution for VSD. In this example, it's equal to 0.4, uh, which means that VSD is nothing but VDD minus V out equal 0.4. So V out will be equal to VDD minus 0.4, and this will be the VOH. But, so we can see that in this problem where we drew the characteristics as function of VSG and VSD. Uh, I had to sort of identify the load line points as function of the, the resistor indirectly, but it made the solution more familiar to me and I am able through the intersection of the load line and the uh, 
PMOS characteristics, current characteristics, يعني IR equal I PMOS, to find the value of VSD and therefore find the value of V out corresponding to this V, يعني to this VSD and therefore find the VOH value. Okay, thank you.